Hey guys, um, I'm going to show you today how to get any MPEG file or any video format for that matter onto Final Cut Express 4 without having to render it. So first, if you have an MPEG 2 format, you're going to really want to pay attention to this. You're going to want to go to Firefox or whatever browser you have and download these two programs that I'll have posted in the description at the right. So first one is going to be the MPEG-2 codec playback thing that you need to play MPEG-2 files. And you can either go ahead and torrent that or you can download it for $20 off the uh, Apple website, which I torrented it, so it's a lot easier. Goddamn. All right, I'm going to exit this and I'm going to show you the next one. It's called MPEG Stream Click Video Con uh, MPEG Stream Clip Video Converter for Mac and Windows. And if you just give this a quick Google, then it should be the first one, call it Squared 5, and just go ahead and download the Mac version. Next, um, I'm going to show you what to do when you get those both downloaded. Open up MPEG Stream Clip, and just go ahead and click and drag the video file that you want into MPEG Stream Clip. And it should pop up with the uh, actual clip itself. Then go to File and then export to QuickTime. What you're going to want to do next is go to compression and change it to Apple DV slash DVC Pro dash NTSC. My voice cracked, it's just right there. <laughs> um, change to that and then go to quality and then go to 100%. That should be it. Just click make movie and save it to your desktop or wherever, you, wherever else you want to save it to. I can't talk today, guys. Sorry. In the meantime, when it's uh, converting, I'm going to show you what happens usually in Final Cut Express when you try and play a video that's not rendered or doesn't meet the right criteria with the uh, with the timeline settings. I'm going to open a... I think it is a MP4 file. Yeah, MP4 that I converted to the iPod that shouldn't work on here if I did it right. It's the same exact file, I just renamed it from that the one I'm converting right now. So I'm going to click and drag it into the timeline and as you can see a red bar comes up the top. That means that it's not rendered and if I play it then it just says unrendered and it might maybe make a beeping noise for you guys. And that's okay. Uh, I'm actually, we're rendering the video right now that should play fine in the canvas when, when playing it. So I'm going to hide this and then it's, I'll be right back when this is all done converting. Okay, so it is all done pretty much. And it should, when it's all done, it should just close those both those two windows and pop up with the actual file on the desktop. Once you have that done, just go ahead and open it and see if it works. Mine is playing fine right now, full quality. Exit this, and then go to Final Cut Express. Delete the previous one off of there, and then import the one from your desktop or whichever one you converted. Gonna go ahead and convert that and put it onto the timeline like so. Oops. And as you can see, there is no red bar at the top of the timeline and that's good because you can play it in the canvas now. How cool is that? Alright, so that's pretty much it. And if you wanna if you have a question go ahead and comment in the comment section and I'll do my best to answer it as thoroughly as possible thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next video